You want to go into electrotherapy? I run into this damn wall. All right. But just be really careful you don't trip. So India and I are now in St. Albans Sanatorium. And we are now alone, just her and I, inside this 100 and what was it? 104,000 square foot or so, give or take, building. I can't even see what's in front of me. It's at pitch all. black. You can't see anything <clears throat> at all. So, we're going to start so off our investigation by feeling out this place and seeing what rooms drive us the most to see where we can set up some equipment and try to communicate with some spirits. Well, we're in electroshock therapy right now. We should probably document where we are, otherwise we'll never know. Yeah, well, we got a final electroshock therapy. We're, we're on our way to it. Oh, God, I can't see. <laughs> Follow the leader. Oh, there we go. That helped. I don't have to walk one mile an hour. Um, this isn't it. It's through here, right? Yeah. Is it through here? Yeah. Is it? Follow me. Uh, oh, this is it. Yeah. Okay. It's absolutely quiet down here. Here. So this is the electroshock therapy room. Um. This is. It's said to be one of the most active locations in St. Albans, so... Yeah. I want to try the REM pod in here. Just see what we get. Since I think it's interesting that this is the uh, electroshock room. And some people think that spirits are made up of electromagnetic energy. And that's what this REM pod does. It gives off an electromagnetic field and it can sense things that break the field. So I think... Just because of the circumstances of this room, it's going to be... That's why I want to try this. I just want to see what happens. So I'm going to put this down for a second. Let's see if I can look at this. Wait for a second. You got my back to these, this hallway right now. To this doorway and this doorway. Why should I put it? <coughs> Put it in that chair right there. <clears throat> All right. Should I put... Was that um, you? Huh? The breathing? What breathing? Did you breathe heavy? No. I just heard a... I just literally heard that. Okay, maybe I did and I didn't know. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna say it was you, cause... Okay, let's just say that. <laughs> cause I really don't know at this point. All right. My name is India and this is Connor and we have come to spend the night with you tonight here at St. Albans and we know that there are many of you here and we just want to communicate with you tonight. We are not here to make a mockery of you, we are not here to make fun of you, we understand that You've been through a lot and you're probably maybe also in pain. And we just want to try and help you if we can. Just talk. I know you get this all the time and I know it can probably be very tiring. But if you could communicate with us, that would be amazing and we would greatly appreciate it. I know you've probably seen one of these before because lots of people bring them in here and it's just a little light that's going to make a noise. If you get close to that, that little antenna right there, if you get close to that it's going to go off. Do you think you can touch it for me? Can you turn the light off? Or if you can't touch it, if you can make a noise.
It was deadly quiet down here. It, yeah, it doesn't even feel weird. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't feel, like, spooky. I'm sorry that they had to do those procedures on you in this room. I'm sure it was awful. I just want to know if anybody is still here, trapped here, in whatever way, form, or shape, shape or form. And if there's any way we can communicate with you tonight, we just want to help tell your story. If you have any last words or you have a message you want to get across, we're here to help you out. A little red light on that chair right there. If you go near it, it will light up and that will let us know that you're in this room with us. That is a car outside. Is, is there anybody down here? Is that something that you need to help you communicate? Is that something that makes it easier? India. Yeah. Why don't we do an EVP session while we're waiting? Let's see if something can happen with that REM pod. Do you got the voice okay. recorder with you? Yeah, let me um, set up this <clears> camera. <throat> I'll see if we can communicate with anybody in here. Is that something right here? Can I have a light for a second? Oh. There's a chair. I just want to... Okay. See, so you have to get awfully close. That's why that. This is an EVP session in the electrotherapy room. And what I'm going to do actually is place this on the counter right here so that my hands don't touch the recorder. If it's easier for you to speak instead of touch that device right there, we have a recorder right here. If you can talk as loud as you can, whatever you want to say, we will be able to hear you. Can you tell us your name? How do you feel right now? Do you get tired of all these people coming in here doing this? Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna need a light for a second.
Well, let's go move on to another room. Okay. I need a light. <laughs> Wait, what was that? That was you. It wasn't me, I'm saying still. Keep your head low. Wait, is this something right? Oh, this is the, uh, the room. This is the what? Oh, this is the room with the high on it. Yeah. Should we place the room pot in this room? Yeah, we can. It's been on the little floor. Oh, it's really cold in this room. Yeah. I don't like this room. No. Is there anybody in this room? Can you walk towards that light in the middle of the floor? We just want to communicate with you tonight. My name is Connor. That's India over there. I feel very disoriented. I thought that the... Okay. Coming back to those hallways, kind of creepy. That light right there on the floor, it's nothing to do with anything bad. If you walk near it, it'll light up and make all these noises. It lets us know that you're in this room with us, so we can visually see you. Can you go near the light? It's so quiet down here. Yeah. Can you make a noise anywhere so we know that you're here? Tell us where you want us to go.
I don't know, India. Let's just, I think let's just pick it up and walk. You know, go explore, I guess. <clears throat> wait, 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 we've got to go this way. We came from that way. Huh? This is so disorienting. Follow me. Watch your hand. It's hard. It's the, the, the screen, I feel like, makes it harder to see. Because your eyes can get used to the dark, but when the screen is there, it doesn't. Oh god, that thing is so creepy. Yeah. Wait, I just want to try this room real quick. Alright, we're gonna give it one more try. If anybody is down here, can you touch that light? Just once. Any nurses down here? Can you touch that light that's on the counter so you know you're in this room? If you're not a nurse, can you light that up? Can you make a noise? This is the long, dark hallway. You know what? Turn your light off. It'll make it more fun. Oh, I can't see anything. Is there anybody down here? Can you make a noise? Turn your light back on. I'm not about to die. Hello? This is the room where cleaned. This is the hydrotherapy room. Try the rest button in here.
Are there any patients in here that underwent hydrotherapy? Can you touch that light if that was you? It's not going to hurt you, I promise. Can you tell me what, what happened when you're in this room? What did they do? Rem pod? Sure. Although they don't seem to like this very much. Alright. If you are in this room, or anybody is in this room, can you let us know by touching that light? What was that? What? What'd you hear? I don't know, I just. There's probably nothing. Does nobody want to come out tonight? Is it too cold? That looks like him. That Jordan. His name is Lamar. <laughs> I just don't understand why anybody would break in here when it was abandoned to draw graffiti. Like, oh, why would you do that to yourself? No, oh, that's kind of nonsense. Let's just go walk around. Let's get walk around and get a feel and maybe try the spirit box. I don't have the spirit box on me. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make our way around and get it. Upstairs, that one kid's room. He's not up there. Huh? That kid's room's not up there, is he? Yeah. This He's is not. the this is the one that used to be the offices up here. It's more modern up here. Hey, but the kids' room's not up there. Hang on. This is the suicide bathroom room. No, it's not. No. There's nothing up here. 
car just started pounding up here. I don't feel good up here. Why is that room so bright? I don't know. Anybody up here? What's that bathroom? I don't even have the walkie-talkie. Well, at least <laughs> better not get lost then. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I don't seems... like it in here. Let's go into the porch. What? God. I really don't like it up here. Me either. This is the doctor's offices. <laughs> what? That was me. There's a little tea set. Mm -hmm. And a little bobby. Here, let's try it in here. Alright. Ooh. Is there anybody up here with us right now? Can you touch that light? If you touch the light, it's going to make a noise. And it's going to light up a different color. Can you please touch it? There's a car with a base outside. Do you not like being on camera? I put the camera down. Can you judge it for me? This is so quiet. Watch your foot. It's just
play it, baby. This. No, okay. This is where we, uh. Oh, there's the alcohol. Yeah, the alcohol room. <clears throat> is anybody down here with us? Skylight room. Oh, well, there's those creepy things. There's the staircase. on the staircase? Sure. That's where a lot of people walked. If there's anybody upstairs, can you come downstairs? That red light right there will let us see you. I just wanna see if you're down here, if you're really here. Are there any boys here from when this building was a school? Huh. If any of the nurses are upstairs, can you come downstairs? We need you to come touch that red light real quick. It's simply so we know that you're actually here. Are any nurses still here with us? Do any of you have a story you want to tell? Do you know that you're dead? So much light up there, it's crazy. Look with this room, yeah, let's grab it and get, get the spare box. Honestly.
Hunter.